the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Interview with the Member of Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, Simon Daronyan. Armenian side continues to add here to ceasefire, Nikol Pashinyan. Aliyev had about 7,000 killed, lost 80% of armored vehicles, 90% of aviation, but could not defeat Artsakh Lapshin. Russia does not allow military solution to Karabakh conflict, Lavrov. Huge rally in support of Karabakh held in Syria. The Roman era told in Karbert, Western Armenia. Armenian culture has been a complex system that has always been in the realm of interactions between different people but has retained its originality. By carefully preserving and enriching their own, the Armenian people have made a worthy contribution to the common cultural treasury of the people of the earth. Member of the Parliament of the Republic of Armenia, political scientist, political advisor Simon Daronyan spoke about the culture of Western Armenia. During the interview, he referred to the ways in which Armenians living in Western Armenia preserve and develop their culture under Kemalist Turkish oppression. He also spoke about the importance of instilling Armenian values in the youth living in Western Armenia. The conversation ended with a discussion on the cultural situation in Western Armenia. You can watch the whole interview on our YouTube. The Armenian side continues to strictly adhere to the ceasefire regime. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan wrote this on his Facebook page. According to the agreement reached in the USA in connection with the entry into force of the ceasefire regime at 8 a.m., the Republic of Armenia Prime Minister emphasized in the early morning of October 26. As agreed yesterday in Washington, mediated by the United States, the Armenian side will fully observe the ceasefire from 8 a.m. The Azerbaijani side in gross violation of the humanitarian ceasefire agreement reached in United States fired artillery at the northeastern military positions of Artsakh at around 8.45. The next violation was registered around 9.10. The enemy targeted the positions in the southeastern direction firing five artillery shells. Azerbaijan lost about 7,000 lives, lost 80% of its tanks and armored vehicles, 90% of its aircraft, and about 60% of all its drones, but failed to capture Artsakh. Blogger journalist Alexander Lapshin wrote about this on his Facebook page. He in particular noted it is already clear from open sources that Azerbaijan troops were able to penetrate the depths of Nagorno-Karabakh only in the south, in the region of the Arax Valley. The area here is lowland, where Azerbaijan has been able to take full advantage of its fourfold increase in manpower and equipment. As it was supposed, everything stopped with that because in the mountains where tanks cannot operate, artillery is limited and UAVs are less effective. The Azerbaijanis are stopped here. Russia does not support the position on the possibility of resolving the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict by military means. The statement came from Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. The nature of Russia's and Turkey's involvement in the history of Nagorno-Karabakh has its nuances, he added. We do not hide that we do not support the position on the possibility of a military solution of this issue. Considering the two people, both Armenian and Azerbaijani, as friendly, we cannot agree with such wishes. Lavrov reminded that the presidents of Russia and the United States and France, co-chairs of OSC Men's Group, were exclusively in favor of a political settlement. We call on all foreign players to do everything possible to prevent further escalation of the military scenario, to condemn the emotions of the conflicting parties, to intensify the work of creating conditions for the resumption of the peace process, the Russian foreign minister concluded. A huge rally in support of Artsakh took place in Syria. A respective footage shot by the Arabic Department of the War Gonzo program shows the Aleppo residents who had gathered to express solidarity with the people of Artsakh and their fight against international terrorism. The Mound on Mound must start in the Harbert province of Western Armenia was officially registered in 2017 and was taken under protection. The mausoleum located in the foothills of the Euphrates River Basin in 20 meters high and 50 meters in diameter on which a pile of stone is lined up. There are many illegal carvings and holes made on the tomb by treasure hunters. In ancient times such mounds were made for the people of noble origin. The ruins of the castle found on the top of the hill in the eastern part of the mound date back to Roman times. Due to the natural reasons, the main structure of the castle is destroyed. Only the remains of the foundation can be seen. Unfortunately, the castle is on the verge of destruction. Now let us represent your attention a song by Sahak Sahakyan. <laughs> Amen, Gormitz, Hayot, Tergnen, Jekel, Buchtelen, Karvelov, Hay, 
Tiranin parkı Sar kiranajda sar ki Mer baku asfet Dar mezde bir uysa Mer kaç sparafı Sar kiranajda sar ki Az ki bahapan Meze hasar iman Sar kasır pazar you can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.